My name is Dr. Donald McCain. I'm a Chief of Surgical Oncology and Vice Chair, uh, Surgical Vice Chair of the John Thera Cancer Center. My role is in, uh, involved in one as a Chief of Surgical Oncology in being able to organize within the hospital and the operating room uh, a division that actually brings the best cancer care surgically to patients to provide them with the best outcomes, uh, the you know, shortest length of stay, the opportunity to interact with uh, the medical oncology team once they're completed uh, their surgical stay uh, and operation at the hospital. I've been at, at the hospital for uh, 15 years actually. Um, I was in the early conception of the entire cancer center, the, watching this building go up uh, from start to finish. We're able to take all the best aspects of programs around the country that were proven and integrate them in here to give patients at a running start without the hiccups of growing pains uh, the best care possible. I find that it's important for patients to actually come in for consults with uh, prominent family members, people there, uh, or close friends who are involved with their lives who actually can help them in understanding the disease process, understanding what's planned for them, uh, being able to ask all the questions that they like. We even encourage people to come in for a second opinion. Just bringing in people who are focused and actually take notes. Uh, you could bring in questions beforehand, but I think that is important because that supportive system for the patient is the only way they will ever get through this without being overstressed. Anyone referred in is automatically uh, entered into our loop, meaning they get a letter immediately that we've seen the patient. We give them an idea what the plan is so that the primary physician referring physician is kept into, in the loop into what the plans are for their patient and how they can be involved and help us out. Obviously, most of our patients to get the most devastating news probably one could get, which is the fact that they get a cancer diagnosis. I think the thing that they should understand is that at this current phase in which we exist, uh, time, treatment options, uh, both surgical and medical, uh, that they have a great opportunity to survive, and they have a great opportunity to survive with a good quality of life. I have the best job I think anyone can have. You actually get to wake up and look forward to saving patients every day. To look at patients when they come back with their family members, to see kids who have gone into medicine, will probably save me is what I live for.